A campaign event for Tudor Dixon wrapped up not long ago in Muskegon, where Donald Trump Jr. spoke in support of the Republican candidate. His visit comes as the New York Attorney General sued him, his father, and siblings, claiming business fraud. Political reporter Rick Alvin is live in Muskegon now with more. Rick? Former first son Donald Trump Jr. made the second of two stops in Michigan here in Muskegon this evening campaigning for Republican candidate for Governor Tudor Dixon. Now, most of Trump's speech was leveling criticism at the current president and particularly at the FBI, who has recently raided Mar-a-Lago. But he did talk for a time about the importance of the candidacy of Tudor Dixon. But as I say, most of the time he was talking either about what was going on in the Biden administration that he disagreed with or how he disagreed with the federal government, particularly the FBI, and here is how he categorized that raid in Mar-a-Lago. The information was so dangerous and so classified that they spread it all over the floor, took a picture of it, and leaked it to the Washington Post because it's so sensitive. It was so sensitive that it remained undercovers for like 18 months in Donald Trump's possession, and yet within five minutes of the FBI having it, the Washington Post put it up on the front page. Still trying to figure this one out. Before uh, Donald Trump Jr. spoke, Tudor Dixon took the stage and gave the first full stump speech that I've heard her give. She had quite a bit of detail about what she thought she would do as governor. She also got in a couple of pokes at, uh, at uh, Governor Gretchen Whitmer, including one uh, about that kidnapping plot that she said was a joke. Uh, some people questioned her about that during uh, the Q&A afterwards, and she said that everybody needs to have a little bit of a sense of humor. But this was the first real campaign event that we've seen to and, that. and of course, it's a very high profile one with Donald Trump Jr. We'll talk more about what this visit from Trump means and, and what he thinks it means for the Trump campaign coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. We're live in Muskegon. Rick Albin, News 8.